They played a pivotal part in bringing the might of Germany to its knees in the Second World War. But now there's a new battle brewing over how Bomber Command should be remembered. Campaigners say a permanent memorial in the UK is long overdue. But the plans have sparked an international row with some German politicians who say it's in bad taste and should be scrapped. Kaya Lark reports. Bomber Command played a key role in World War II with their Lancasters, Blenheims and Hurricanes. They defended the UK from German aerial attacks during the Battle of Britain. Their main role was to target the enemy's air bases, shipping and communication structure. There's been a long campaign to get a memorial to honour the more than 550,000 members of Bomber Command who made the ultimate sacrifice. But now German politicians are calling for it to be scrapped with one even describing it as tasteless. I'm astonished to hear the Mayor of Dresden's comments and remarks. Uh, the men of Bomber Command and the women of Bomber Command made the ultimate sacrifice during World War II. 55,000 of their number died so that we can live in freedom. Uh, the controversies about the bomber campaign, about Dresden in particular, will run for many, many years. But the simple fact is the memorial is a memorial to the courage of the men and women of Bomber Command, and for that reason and that reason alone, they deserve that. More than 25,000 people died in the bombing of Dresden, and now the mayor of the town says plans for the £4.9 million monument in London's Green Park are not in the spirit of reconciliation. She's asking the mayor of London, Boris Johnson, to shelve the memorial, but campaigners are furious. Now, I don't agree with the bombing of Dresden. I don't agree with the bombing of any city. I don't agree with the bombing, and I think many millions of Germans don't didn't agree with the bombings of Coventry, Bristol, London, Manchester. And I think it's, a, it's repugnant for a mayor of Dresden to come into this country and, and try to say not to have a monument to these men. Bomber Command suffered the highest ratio of casualties in World War II, 10% of all UK fatalities. And veterans are determined the memorial will be completed. Kyle Ark, Forces News. Well, Jim Dooley is the chairman of the Bomber Command Memorial Committee. Jim, thanks for being here this evening. Um, when people say that this memorial is tasteless, how do you react? I think it's the most beautiful memorial that London will have seen in the last 200 years. And uh, I think it's incredible that this uh, story in the newspapers mm. has broken on a day like today. Yeah, this, is, this is the story, and this is the front page of the Daily Express today. Don't mention the war. Uh, how does that make you feel when this kind of thing is stirred up? Well, uh, I, I'm reading between the lines there, uh, Kate. I, I, I suspect that this this woman is promoting an this exhibition. Is the, mayor, the mayor of Dresden. The mayor of Dresden is promoting an exhibition and a book that she's got coming mm -hmm. out. Um, I, I find it incredible because the uh, the Dresden Trust uh, earlier in the year, when we were seeking uh, planning permission for this memorial, uh, wrote in support. Mm. Um, and uh, the memorial, as as John Nicol has said is all about commemorating sacrifice mm. and uh, attention to duty as opposed to uh, celebrating war and, uh, and the bombing campaign. So you, you're clearly uh, furious, but you can't get away from the fact that part of what Bomber Command did was to bomb Dresden. What would you say, though, to the relatives of those 25,000 people who died? Well, unfortunately, uh, war uh, has its casualties. And uh, they bombed us, and, and, and we bombed them, and that was the tactic of the day. Um, but this memorial isn't about uh, the men who bombed Dresden. Mm. This is about the young men. I mean, we lost 10,000 young men in training and weather incidents. Uh, this is about 55,000 in total. Young men who, who, who flew on the Dambusters mission, who flew on Pienemund to delay the onset of the V2 Rockets, and uh, and I suspect that this this initiative is about a small group uh, in London that have, have fired this mayor up, because my role is is fundraising to raise mm. the funds for this memorial. What do the veterans say to you when this kind of thing hits the papers and the news? They're absolutely appalled. Mm. I, I mean, we believe that it's a tactic to try and stop the funds coming in. I mean, we we have a deadline of the thirty first of October, whereby we we have to demonstrate to Royal Parks that we have. The funds. So if, if, if people go to the uh, Bomber Command website, um, they'll be able to see that they can donate through a mm -hmm. time capsule. And I suspect that uh, one or two organisations have, have fired this lady up to, uh, to try and prevent the, the funds coming in. All right, Jim Dooley, thank you very much for your time and thanks for coming in to talk to us about this subject. My pleasure.